Hey, this is Tim, and I'm Robin, and this is us having no clue what we're doing. But we're doing it anyways, and it starts with us selling our house and buying a van. In our last video, you saw us install our DIY roof rack. Here it is fully installed with a couple of light bars attached to it. Um, in this video, we are going to show how we mounted uh, these two 200 watt solar panels to our DIY roof rack. All right, so today we are going to try and get our two solar panels uh, up on top of the roof. Um, we're going to mount them directly to the 8020. I might have to make some cross rails uh, going from driver's side to passenger side to support them uh, with, with more 8020, but we're gonna unbox them now and see what we're working with. All right, I'm gonna take some measurements and then go up on the roof. All right, so first little hiccup of the putting the solar panels onto the roof. Basically, I've got 80-20 piece cut that's gonna go right here where it's laying. Uh, it looks good. My issue is that these are what mount it to the side rails. Uh, so I got a crossbar and then I got side rails. Um, and this essentially is gonna have to be attached to here and then slide down from the start all the way to here. So with that being said, that fan is in the way. So I'm thinking, hoping that I, basically the fan is held in by uh, four screws, two on this side, two on the other side. I'm hoping that I can just pull those two screws out, lift the fan up, slide the two pieces in, put the fan back. There is a small uh, bracket that the fan screws into, which uh, you may have seen in a previous video of that installation. I'm just hoping that it's short enough that this bar will clear that as it slides over top. If it doesn't, then we might have to take apart the roof rack, which I don't really want to do because we did use Loctite, um, blue, not red, so it can be undone, but it's also just a pain. So I don't really want to take off the whole roof rack just to get these solar panels in, so hopefully removing that fan will solve my issues. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach these pieces of 8020 to the solar panel, and then using these brackets that I already showed you, we will slide it onto the roof railing that's up there. Next thing that I have to do have to do is these are the T-nuts to use for the 8020. The holes that are pre-drilled into the solar panels are just not big enough for this to fit into, so I do have to widen those holes a little bit more. All right, so these screws that I got uh, for the 8020 are actually a little bit too long. They were um, bottoming out before the bar was totally tight. So I just ran up to Home Depot, got some washers, uh, added those to the screws, and now I'm gonna tighten it down again and uh, see if I can get it on there tight. All right, gonna make these holes a little bit bigger, but I don't wanna go all the way through. Well, I gotta make this hole bigger. I just made the little tiny little thing. Baby. All right, so Literally while I was trying to drill these out, Amazon delivered our deburring tool and I used it to make this first hole bigger and it worked pretty well. So I'm gonna do the same for the other three here on this side, along with the four on that side. This deburring tool is worth every $8 I spent. Yeah.
see underneath that silver bracket? Uh huh. It's going to slide into place through that little T-nut, or T-track, rather. Right. These are the solar panels fully installed. So we slid it on with these brackets here. So we ended up having to take off the fan and unbolt this foot and the other foot up there on both sides. So that foot over there, right there. And that way we could kind of lift the roof rack up and slide these solar panels in. Um, and then also have to undo this joint here. Basically, these solar panels would be a super pain to ever steal. So I'm pretty happy with the security because, I mean, you wouldn't be able to take these solar panels off without taking off the whole roof rack um, because you can't reach your hand underneath there to unbolt them. So think they're on there nice and secure and um, no one's gonna steal them and they're not gonna fly off or anything like that. We also first put one of the solar panels in front of that fan up there, but it made way too much noise when driving around um, and we were worried about too much wind lift on it as well. So I think we like them here. Doesn't really give us a lot of room if we wanted to do a deck back here, but uh, we'll figure that out. When we tested the solar, it didn't work and we had the wrong connections. So we're solving it now. Hopefully it works this time. Cool. Again, I made the mistake and put the wrong ferrules inside of here. So we had to order new ones off of Amazon. And the trick is this is the female MC4 plug. And that one underneath there, if you can see it, that's the male. And the trick is, is that the male ferrule goes into the female uh, MC4 connector thing. Oh my gosh, we got it working. Ooh. Just had to stick it through that ferrule a lot more, but it works, yay. Thank you for watching our video. Hope you enjoyed uh, watching us install our uh, solar panels on our DIY roof rack. Um, if you like our content, please like and subscribe to our videos. It really helps us out. It uh, makes us uh, know that people are watching our videos and we will continue to make more. Thanks for watching.